Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to record commentary for a YouTube video using Audacity. This will be a very simple tutorial, so let's get right to it. As you can see, I actually have Audacity open on my computer right now. And the first two things that you should do are select your microphone and select your speakers. So you can use these two simple drop down menus right here to select your microphone and your speakers. The microphone will allow you to record the audio onto your computer and the speakers will allow you to play back the audio so that you can review it and make sure that it's good. So once you have selected your microphone and speakers and you're ready to record the commentary for your YouTube video, you're actually going to click this record button right here. And as you can see, I'm recording the audio for, uh, for my YouTube video, for my hypothetical YouTube video. When you're ready to stop the recording, you're going to click the stop button right there. As you can see, I have recorded the audio right here for my commentary, okay? So, um, if you are recording your commentary and you are recording it as one take from start to finish, you're going to record it just as I have shown you right there, and then you can actually export it as an audio file because your entire commentary will be done if you're recording it as one take from start to finish. So you would go to file, you would go to export audio, and then you can select your options. Let's say that I wanted to export it as an mp3 file, I would click this, I would type in my file name, I would select my options, and then I would click the save button right there. But I'm actually not going to save it, just because I want to show you another option. So I'm going to click cancel instead. But if you were recording the audio commentary for your YouTube video as one take from start to finish, you could just save it just like that. Okay, I'm going to cancel it instead. Let's say, on the other hand, that you wanted to record a commentary for your YouTube video and you wanted to record it as multiple cuts that you could then bring together and sort of splice together. What you would do is you would then, you would let's say you recorded your first cut just like that and then you wanted to add another part for the audio, uh, another audio portion for the commentary, you would then bring the cursor here, you would click over here and then uh, Audacity actually records in multiple layers. So once you brought the cursor over here, you could then record another layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and record another layer by clicking, clicking the record button. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a few moments of blank audio before I start speaking. So now that I've left a few moments of blank audio, I'm just going to click the stop button. As you can see, I've recorded this and then I'm actually, I have some blank audio and then I started speaking again. So what I'm going to show you how to do is, is uh, basically bring these two audio cuts together. So what we need to do is we need to use the time shifter tool. Uh, sorry about that, which is actually right here. It's these two arrows. You're going to click the time shift tool and then you can actually drag um, different audio cuts together. So I'm going to bring this audio cut up to this layer. I'm going to bring them together just like that. And then basically, I can actually just delete this layer to get it out of the way, just like that. And then I'm going to click this right here, which is the selection tool. And let's say that I wanted to remove this blank space. What I could do is I could just select this blank space. Let's say that I wanted to select this blank space. Let's just let's leave just a little bit of, of blank audio, but let's select this right here. Um, we're going to leave just a bit of blank audio so that there's just a, a tiny, uh, tiny moment between myself speaking. So I've selected it and then you can actually hit control X to get rid of it just like that. And then you can continually do this with all of your audio portions of your commentary until you are ready to actually save the audio file. And then once you're finished bringing together all of the various audio cuts for the commentary for your YouTube video, you can actually just once again go to file. When you're completely done, go to file, go to export audio, and then you can once again make your selection, let's say an mp3 file, type in your file name, select your options, and then click the save button. But once again, I'm not going to do that because this is just a tutorial and all that you would have to do is click the save button. I don't, I don't actually want to save this audio for anything. So I'm going to click cancel instead. But that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to record commentary for a YouTube video using Audacity. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.